DICE are making big changes to Battlefield 2042. Modern Warfare 2 is giving budget gamers hope, Halo Infinite might get a massive battle royale, and much more on Today in Gaming. Hey guys, Level Cap here. DICE released patch notes for tomorrow's Battlefield 2042 2.1 update. It packs a ton of improvements, plus some new content. The Renewal Map rework launches with this update. It transforms sections of the map with the new terrain, additional cover, reworked objective areas, and more. The overall playable area has been shrunken down to condense combat more while reducing travel time between objectives. Three new vault weapons are being transplanted from Portal to all-out warfare. The P90 Gold Sniper Magnum and the M19 Pistol will be unlockable via new assignments. Mouse input latency has been improved thanks to polling rate improvements as well. This adjustment should be more evident compared to past attempts at fixing 2042's notorious input lag. The lead game designer on 2042 tweeted that input improvements are on one of his highlights for this update. He's been very vocal about making these sorts of improvements, so hopefully his tweet means that they've finally been resolved. These stealth helicopters are getting significant nerfs to prevent them from dominating 2042's vehicle meta. The AM40 and Avancy's LMG finally have the correct ammo counts, so you can expect their general performance to improve. Deploy delays for existing vault weapons have improved to make them more consistent with the other weapons in All Out Warfare. Dozens of other fixes and changes are listed in the full patch notes. Overall, this is a significant balanced patch that also adds new content that players have been adamant about. The game's next update, Patch 2.2, sounds like it'll launch in mid-October as part of a new event that'll offer earnable cosmetics infantry-only gameplay modes, and new close quarters gameplay. It sounds like a new event will have something to do with the weapon crate easter egg players have discovered on the various maps ahead of Season 2's launch. Perhaps this mid-season event will activate those crates as weapon pickups in some sort of deathmatch mode? What do you guys think about this update? Were you hoping for more, or is it enough to keep you playing until the next major update? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Modern Warfare 2 beta players are convinced the Dead Silence field upgrade gives away your position. It's supposed to make your footsteps inaudible to enemy players, but players suspect the noise you hear when activating the field upgrade is also audible to enemies. The noise is apparently loud enough that it lets enemy players pinpoint your position and get ready to fight you. Dead Silence has been a notorious perk throughout Call of Duty's history. In Modern Warfare from 2019 and Warzone, it was routinely criticized since it effectively gave gave you the element of surprise for free. Infinity Ward haven't commented on the exact nature of Dead Silence in Modern Warfare 2 yet, but it seems likely that the activation noise is an attempt at balancing the field upgrade. The developers tweaked the footstep audio for the second beta phase to be less audible at extreme ranges. It's unclear if Dead Silence was also changed in some way for the second beta, or if it also gave your position away in the first phase. If complaints become wide spread enough, Infinity Ward will likely address the feedback in some way soon. Now as for gamers on a budget worried about the inflated cost of PC hardware going into the holiday season, it sounds like Modern Warfare 2 might play nice with lower end hardware. YouTuber Random Gaming in HD recently demonstrated the Modern Warfare 2 beta running on an AMD Athlon 3000G, which is a budget CPU from 2019 with integrated graphics. They were averaging 30 FPS at 720p with AMD's FSR upscaling tech enabled. The general takeaway is that used PC hardware or more budget-friendly new components like Intel's Arc GPUs might actually be a workable option for Modern Warfare 2 and presumably Warzone 2. Used prices are finally coming back down to earth, so you can get some pretty decent hardware for not too much these days. Game studio Certain Affinity is the lead developer on a big Halo Infinite project. Rumors suggest it's a battle royale mode of some kind, but those rumors have been scarce since the start of the year. But one of the studio's executives revealed in a recent interview the sheer scope of the project. COO Paul Sams says the studio is handling everything from the concept to the design on the project, and that nearly 100 employees are working on it. It's been in the works for two years, and the 
studio's biggest project. Sams says whatever they're working on is something big and new for the franchise. Assuming the mode is a proper battle royale experience, it could help boost Infinite's languishing player counts and public perception. Post-launch support has brought excellent content and updates to Infinite, but the amount of content has massively underwhelmed players. 343 also can development of local split-screen co-op, a franchise staple. And while they are delivering online co-op, and arguably the franchise's most robust Forge mode ever, players are still frustrated that the core features are taking more than a year to launch. With certain affinities COO discussing their Halo project openly, it seems likely that we'll get a a proper reveal or teaser pretty soon. Now in some better news for Infinite, 343 are adding the iconic Halo 3 map, The Pit, built entirely in Forge mode. It should be available when the Forge beta starts on November 8th alongside other example maps, map remakes, and community designed experiences. A new Silent Hill game was raided in South Korea. It's called Silent Hill The Short Message. The rating lists the publisher as Uniana, one of Korea's foremost arcade game manufacturers, so it's tough to say if this is an upcoming teaser demo for a proper Silent Hill game, an arcade game, or something else entirely. Franchise owner Konami made it clear that they have multiple Silent Hill projects in development as of a few months ago, but the short message is technically an unannounced title. A teenager has been charged for his involvement in the recent Grand Theft Auto 6 leak. Because he's a minor, his name hasn't been released. He's being charged in London with two counts of bail, condition violations, and two counts of computer misuse. He's the prime suspect in a breach at Microsoft and Samsung, in addition to breaching Rockstar servers. He's also believed to be part of the hacking group Lapsus, which is notorious for hacking Uber, Nvidia, and other tech companies. They're currently under investigation by the FBI. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. We appreciate you tuning in and hope you're considering subscribing or becoming a channel member. Both are fantastic ways of supporting what we do here. Members get exclusive emotes and name badges to show off their support in chat. Reviews of AMD's next generation Ryzen CPUs are now live. The two top of the line AMD CPUs dominate the current generation Intel CPUs in gaming and productivity workloads. It's clear Intel will have to make some significant gains to keep pace while also keeping an eye on their prices. However, the rest of AMD's new CPUs that are more budget friendly don't fare quite as well compared to Intel's current gen parts. They either trade blows directly or just marginally beat these CPUs and benchmarks. Intel's upcoming 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs will likely decimate this segment of AMD's product stack, forcing Team Red to release mid-gen refreshes of the lower price ranges. Now, the performance advantages next-gen Ryzen does offer also comes with some significant considerations. They're more power-hungry, require new motherboards and new RAM that are both quite expensive expensive and require some beefy cooling at the top end to avoid thermal throttling. They are still air-cooled and a bit more efficient than Intel's top-line stuff, but AMD's current gen CPUs are even more tame. Pricing for the new CPU starts at $300 and climbs up to $700 for the top-end chip. Overall, it is clear that the next-gen Ryzen chips are a decisive win at the top end of the list. The 7950X and the 7900X are the new top dogs in both gaming and productivity, but AMD's more budget-friendly CPUs are fighting tooth and nail for marginal benefits with a laundry list of caveats for people with existing PCs. Now, if you're looking for what I think DICE should do with the next Battlefield franchise, check out this video here. It involves dinosaurs. What could go wrong, right? As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.